If you're gonna get into doing sprinkler work, especially sprinkler repair, and you run into some electrical issues, there's three tools that really are just a must have when it comes to electrical troubleshooting on an irrigation system. Let me show you something. When it comes to electrical troubleshooting, these three things are pretty much a must have. And I've used them today, every single one of these, trying to figure out where I've got a cut wire and why this system is not working. But you, these are good things to have. So let me show you. It's good to have some sort of tool like this uh, Pro 48 that Armada makes that you can test the solenoids and you can also send a tone with this one too. This tool makes it very easy to test to see if a solenoid is good or not. And you can also test a length, maybe a length of a wire. So I can come right here like I'm at the splice box. I can test it and see if I'm picking up a solenoid that says either open or short or it says it's good. That means solenoid's good, but also that wire is good. So there's kind of a couple different ways to use this one, but man, being able to just test it, uh, even just a solenoid really quick, that lets you know, hey, it's solenoid's good or not, or maybe you've got a wire problem. The next thing is some sort of multimeter or voltmeter. This one's good because it also does milliamps. And so I can use this on my two wire systems. Got my clamp meter there. But having a voltmeter, that way you can test, hey, am I getting power in it right here? Or you can test solenoids with this and ohm them out. You can ohm out your system. You can do that with a multimeter. If I was gonna pick just to have one, either this solenoid testing, the Pro 48 from Armada, or a multimeter like this one here that Armada makes as well, I would probably choose the multimeter because I can still test the solenoid by using ohms, but I can also test power. And this one I can use on my two wire systems, testing milliamps through the system. If I just could afford one, I'd choose a, a, this multimeter or something similar. Now last up, it's good to have some sort of valve locator, wire tracer. This one here is, is an older, it's an older one made by Greenlee, it's the 521A. If I'm not mistaken, they don't even make this one anymore. I think another company bought it and they're, they've kind of redone it a little bit, but having a valve locator and being able to trace wires is really just a must have tool and it's really gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Having that ability to trace wires, find valves that are buried, you can do them all with this valve locator, wire tracer, whatever you want to call it. It's really just a valve locator. And you can also use this, and you've seen other videos of mine, you can trace pretty much any kind of wire there is. I can hook up to ground wires or a neutral on even a light pole and trace it to see where it goes. If I'm doing a new project and electrician's nowhere to be found, I can do that. I can trace them at homes. I mean, these are really cool things. There's a lot of things you can use it for if you think outside the box and you know what you're doing so you don't blow it up or mess something up. But if you get into doing a lot of repair and need to do a lot of electrical troubleshooting, valve locator is really something you need to get. I'll put links to these things all down in the description below. That way you can check them out and do your research and find out kind of what's near you. Maybe something you can get your hands on really fast but don't be afraid to order one because most of the time you've got to order this stuff. Nobody really carries it. They can bring it in for you. Talk to your local suppliers, ask them questions, see what they recommend, see what people are using and talk to other irrigators in your area. See what they like to use, see what they recommend. Just do as much research as you can. That way you can pick the best option for you. Check out this video right here where I use a, this valve locator to trace an electrical line.